Have you ever been walking through the park or driving down the street and you look out and you see a site just incredibly beautiful that you have to stop and kind of take in that moment, stop and admire it? Well, that happens to me a lot and increasingly in the last few years since I've got one of these, my iPhone. They say that the best camera is the one that you have on you. So for me and millions of other people, that makes this one of the most powerful tools at our disposal. It's really changed the way I see the world around me and perceive beauty. It's taught me that you can find beauty just about anywhere, whether it's an abandoned building, nature, a park, architecture, even your pets like my dog Hepburn here. And of course, I'm able to share these memories with apps like Instagram that allow me to connect with thousands of people all over the world and just show them how beautiful this little corner of Ohio can be. I'm not originally from around here, so I'm a little surprised when I hear people say things like, wow, you make even Toledo look good, because to me, this area is just immersed in beauty. I see it everywhere I go, and not just because I'm a designer, an artist with a creative vision. I think you just have to keep your eyes open and really look for it, whether you're on the Old West End, the East Side, downtown, or by the river. And underneath it all, there's history. During my many outings wandering the streets, I've been fascinated and captivated by the rich history that permeates this area. The distinct architecture, the proud monuments, the beautiful buildings and the stories behind them. We walk by these buildings every day, but do we ever stop to truly notice them? When I first started to notice these myself and the beautiful details in them, the more I wanted to learn about their history and the history of this region in general. So I started poking around online and I found a wealth of historic images through the library's photo archives. As I began to look at these images, I started to make connections and draw parallels between what I was seeing in these gorgeous historic photos of Toledo and its youth and what I was seeing every day wandering the streets. There's just something about the juxtaposition of the old and the new, the past and the present, that I wanted to explore and capture. I think the first time I realized the power of this duality, I was walking downtown with a few of the historic photos I had printed out in my pocket. And I was trying to locate the exact spot in which they were originally taken. I found myself in front of this building, the Key Bank building on Madison Avenue, right down the street. And as I held up the photo to make sure I was in the right spot, something strange happened. It was like looking into a window into the past. The past and the present were overlapping and converging. I was standing in that spot that the original photographer stood in so many years ago, and I felt a profound connection, and I wanted to capture that. Afterwards, I wanted to continue to capture those connections, so I spent hours of research and digging through old photos to see what I could unearth about Toledo's past. I called it my Toledo Rephotography Project. Rephotography being rephotographing images captured long ago and reinterpreting them in our current landscape. During this process, I was able to learn so much about Toledo's history, and as I began to share the images on Instagram, I, I thought it'd be fun to include facts and stories about these places. Because the more you learn about a place, the more context and meaning it has in your everyday life. It becomes more than that cool looking building down the street. It becomes more than just the backdrop to your daily life. It becomes a place with substance and meaning and with a story behind it. I was able to share information about buildings like this, the Bartley Warehouse or the Bell Building, which once held Smith's Cafeteria, one of the first self-serve eateries in the country, or this little building on St. Clair Street, which was once a saloon and later became a strange museum of oddities that included a stuffed sea serpent, bloodied weapons used in battle, and even strange animal skeletons. My type of place. This capture on the High Level Bridge was particularly challenging, because I had to get <laughs> right in the median there inches away from heavy traffic. It took me quite a while to get the nerve to go out there, but I'm glad I did for comments like this from a person who grew up near that bridge, 
was able to feel connection through that photo in his past. Sometimes I'm asked to photograph buildings because of their family significance. My friend Caitlin's family's funeral home on Cherry Street, which is now vacant, but it looked very different 120 years ago when it was known as one of the local undertakers. My own little way, I try to bring history to life to help people experience it in ways that they can't from a history book or lecture. It's simply being able to see the past and the present in one photo and letting the viewer draw their own conclusions. For me, connecting to the past in this way has helped me have a deeper appreciation of Toledo, its past, and my place in it. Because when you can recognize the beauty in the past and the present and get past the negative perceptions then I believe the future is ours to create. I can't help but wonder, in 100, 150 years from now, the same amount of time that's between now and some of these photos, what will become of Toledo and how will our descendants view us and the things that we create, leave behind and sustain? Will my great, great, great grandson or granddaughter find some of my photos and maybe pick up where I left off reinterpreting the past and reimagining the future and its possibilities. Because as much as I love this city and the things that make it unique, is there anything more beautiful than hope and the desire to make things better for future generations? I invite you, I challenge you to see Toledo through my eyes, not just because of what was there or what's there now, but the potential of what could be because I believe that only those who dare to imagine that potential will be one day capable of realizing it and shaping it for the better.